Hey guys, this is Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. So this is part two, I guess you'd say, of my May budget setup. So I have here in front of me my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner in the 7 by 9 size. I also have um, the May kit from Caffeinated Kate. We're going to be doing the weekly check-in page as well as the spending tracker page. And I got a lot of questions about um, what pen I used in my last budget video. So these are the Erin Condren Deluxe, or I'm sorry, Erin Condren Designer Gel Pens in the classic colors. And I used the black. I believe, I don't know if it actually says on here, but I'm pretty sure that these are a 0.38, which is what my other pen that I use all the time is the Pilot G2.38. So I really like these Erin Condren pens. Um, they are super smooth and I'm, I'm really happy with them. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you guys what my April weekly check-in page looked like. And you can see that I did not actually utilize this page as much as I should have. I'm going to kind of check in on everything this week. I have a pretty good idea about how we did. So my last weekly check-in um, date is the 25th for week four, which is this week. Actually, it's today. So I'm going to check in tomorrow and just do all of these weeks. This is my spending tracker. You can see that I got a different sheet from Caffeinated Kate that actually has the weekly check-in and the week numbers and this. So my May weekly check-in page is going to look differently than this. So let's get to it. Um, I So far, I've done my May budget which I already uploaded this video. Um, so this was probably my, probably Tuesday this week I uploaded this, maybe Wednesday, but anyways, um, if you look at my videos, you can see that. I just covered these up with washi just so that I didn't have to worry about accidentally showing you guys something that my husband wasn't comfortable with. Um, this is my monthly page with all my bill due stickers. So my weekly check-in page is going to go here. Now it is going to look different because I have the new sticker sheet from Kathy and Kate, but also because when I looked at the monthly um, calendar, it, I'm going to have actually five weeks that I'm going to be checking in with. Um, I have six categories that I like to check in to keep track of and you can I mean you guys saw I did not do a very good job in the month of April however I'm going to tell you in the month of May so like I was saying I'm sorry I had to stop filming for a second there so that um I could go get my puppy she just keeps whining and whining I put her in her playpen so that she could be contained while I was filming and she was not having it but anyways, so for May's budget, I absolutely, we have to stay exactly on track. Otherwise, we'll just say bad things will happen and the month will not go as planned. Um, it's just a super tight month with everything that we have. Once we get to June, it should be better, but we've got to, we've just got to stay on track. So even though I'm not really that good at the weekly check-ins, I've got to do it for May. And maybe it, it will be the kick in the pants that I need to do it consistently anyways, because I do believe that it's important. And I kind of just like at this point do a mental weekly check-in, but I've got to start doing a better job. My husband will agree with that. So we've got that. Now you can see that's one of the changes for, let's see, okay, here we go. This was my April weekly check-in, did not have that weekly, weekly check-in sticker. Now I have that, so I like that. I really love the colors in this kit. They're super pretty. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put down the sticker that says week, category, budget, spent, and remaining. The nice thing about having this weekly check-in kit now is that I don't have to hand draw as much on this page, which is nice. It also gives like the budget pages as a whole for the month a little more cohesiveness. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have six categories that I track. I track groceries, gas, weekend fun, household, my spending money, and unbudgeted. 
Um, I'm going to have very little weekend fun money, very little household money, and very little um, personal spending money for the month. Well, at least until we get to, well, probably for the whole month of May. Probably so much so that I don't even really need to track those, but I'm going to anyways. So I need six lines. And then this will be the second week. I might even just go five lines and just take out the household category since really the only thing that we need to buy for a household this month is we do need some salt for the water softener, um, which is just going to be a one-time expense. So I'm not really going to worry about that, I guess, this one time. And it's primarily because there are five weeks that I need to track. So I'm hoping I'll have room if I just, if I take away one category. All right, so there's one week, two weeks, three weeks, four see if I can fit one more in here or not. It's going to be close. Well, okay, so that is not going to work. So let's see, let's change this up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just go ahead and do all six categories. And then I think I can, well, you'll see. You'll see what I'm going to do. This is what I had originally thought I was going to have to do, but then I thought maybe if I took away one category it would work, but it didn't, so. It's totally okay. We can be flexible and go with the flow. I used to be a lot more flexible in my younger years, like the beginning of my husband's career in the army kind of taught me flexibility, but now that he's retired and I'm just kind of not quite as flexible as I used to be with my life, <laughs> which is not really a good thing, I guess, but it's okay. Okay, so here is... I think this gives me my full four weeks. Yep, goes all the way to the bottom, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my fifth week over here. And that will work out okay, and you'll see why in a few minutes. I'm really thankful that Caffeinated Kate stickers are repositionable. I don't really know that I could ever work with stickers that were not repositionable. Okay, so I just realized, you guys know I film on my phone, and I just realized that my tempered glass has a crack in it, and I have no idea how that happened, because I just barely put a brand new one on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh well, I do have an extra. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to notate the bottom of this week. I'm just going to use probably a strip of this thin washi right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll put this here. Not perfectly straight but it's okay so why I think that's gonna work fine is because this was my spending tracker for the month of April and like I pretty much am at the last date that I'm gonna worry about tracking for April and that's just because I kind of have that week where let me see here 
So now that I'm looking at this, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work because I guess technically we don't get paid until Tuesday, which is why I was going to count this as a, Mar a May week, but I don't know. I might have to think about that a little bit more. But anyways, what I wanted to show you was that I still have this as well as this whole section over here for my spending tracker. So if I am to use the first part of this page as part of my weekly check-in for May, I don't, it's not going to matter. I'm still going to have enough room because I'm still going to have this for my spending tracker as well as probably half of this page. So I still think it's going to work fine. So I'm not concerned about that. So Kate gives us options. We can either use this week one and so on, or we can use the little flags. So I think I'm going to use these script stickers, but I'm going to put them like that. And then that still gives me room up here to write the dates. Um, for that particular week if I choose to. So budgeting is, is definitely um, a learn as you go process. Like you can go into it with a plan and you should go into it with a plan. But if you find something that you need to tweak a little bit to fit your lifestyle better or just to fit the way that you process things better, um, definitely feel free to do that because th that's just how it goes. I mean, what, and I've said this, you know, lots of times, what works for me might not work for you. And that's totally fine. Um, you know, you can watch 10 different YouTube channels of, or yeah, YouTube channels of how people budget and take one thing away from each person to find your way. And that's, that's totally okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add in, draw my lines, and you'll get to see how off I am, like for example right there. <laughs> but it's okay. It still works. So, move this up a little bit. I really like using these kits. I'm super happy with the way that things are coming along. I like that we have options. I mean, there are quite a few shops that have budget kits now, and I really like that, that we have options. All right. Okay, there's that. And then I'll just do these quickly. So is May a tight budget month for anybody else? I mean, we have Mother's Day. It's my birthday month. But I, I don't know what we're going to do about those yet. We might just, I don't know, I'll have to talk to my husband and see what he thinks. But we might have to just kind of postpone them until we pay for Disney. Which will not make my husband happy, but we'll see. We'll see what he has up his sleeve. Okay, so there's that. So the next thing I'm going to do is my spending tracker. Let's flip this upside down. I think I'm going to leave like one line's worth of space. Yeah, that looks good. The only thing that sometimes I wish that Caffeinated Kate did was maybe give us a couple different color options for script stickers like that. And then maybe just a couple of options for decorative washi, which I know would probably not be 
the easiest thing for her to do, but it would be kind of nice. Okay, so let me think about this. This is... So maybe I am going to have to put that right up there, but actually I think I can probably fix my issue if I just lay this thin washi right here. There we go. Okay, so the things that I track in my spending tracker, let me go back to April's to show you guys. I track like if I have unbudgeted, I track my spending money over here just because sometimes the monthly page just gets a little, a little too much. Um, if I transfer money to my Chime account, that's for myself, I'll put it in here. Um, I track my weekend fund withdrawals over here. Um, if I transfer to the kids, basically most of my transfers from one account to another are tracked over here as well. That way, if my husband is looking at the account and he says, what was this transfer? What was this transfer? What was this transfer? I can tell him, <coughs> excuse me, um, unbudgeted, I track over here. I did have quite a bit of unbudgeted towards the end of this month. Um, I tracked like we had the gender reveal this month and we did have a gender reveal budget, but I just tracked that over here. Um, so basically anything that is not on here in my little key is tracked over here in the spending tracker. So let's go ahead and, and I'm always like, this is a work in progress as well. Like I'm constantly thinking, okay, how can I make this more streamlined? But for now, it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and add my lines. The only, and I don't use this method category because I don't, it just doesn't matter. I don't track my cash spending. So, you know, and we, you know, are not using credit cards. So I guess maybe if I put some of my thing, my expenses on credit cards, like if I wanted to keep track to pay it off at the end of every month, then that would be beneficial. But I'm, we're just, we don't do that. So, so I really like the way that looks. That's looking very nicely. So I'm going to continue my spending tracker on this page. Let's see how I did that for April. I really just put my totals line down here and that worked totally fine. So that is probably what I'm going to do for this page as well. We'll just go ahead and add it about right here. I'm not gonna add my lines in, in right yet because I'm honestly, I might not even need it. So I'm just gonna leave that just like that. So we have May budget, May overview, weekly check-in and spending tracker. So that is it for part two of my May budget setup pages. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, please do give me a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new content. If you guys have any you know, questions for me, please do leave them in the box below. Um, I like to hear from you guys. I like the interaction. I'm starting to get quite a bit of interaction from my subscribers and I just love it. It's so fun. Um, I try to be mindful of answering everybody's questions in a timely fashion. Um, one of the things that I've been working on this week is to try not to upload. Like usually I'll set my video to upload maybe like when I go to bed at you know 11 o'clock or whatever and then it, it does take a couple of hours sometimes. And that so which would be midnight in Alaska, which is 4 a.m. on the East Coast. So one of my kids was like, Mom, maybe you should try to upload earlier in the day and see what happens. So I have been doing that. Um, if you guys have any advice for me, I'm happy to hear it. Um, I will leave a link to a referral code in the description box down below for Erin Condren. If you are new to Erin Condren and you do not have an account or if you have a different email address or whatever that you want to use, you can go ahead and sign up for an account. You'll get a $10 coupon and as well as a $10 coupon will go to me so that I can purchase new stuff to show you guys. I'm really excited about the new life planners that are coming out in a couple of weeks. 
Um, so anyways, I will also leave a link to Kathleen and Kate's shop down below, as well as a coupon code that you can use to save 15% off your future purchases. So I think that's about it. And I really appreciate you guys watching my channel. Bye guys.